Welcome to Real Food, and today we're going to open and have a look inside this Morrison's food box. We're still um, in this lockdown in London, where we can't go out much and only very few shops are open. And some supermarkets introduced um, delivery of food boxes, which contain a number of essentials, which is very, very convenient and very good of them. But I found many um, places you go to all these web services which offer, again, food boxes, etc. You try to order something, there are no delivery slots. You try even to log on, and there's like a massive queue. You have to wait to even be able to go on their website. So many companies are really struggling. But what I want to say with Morrison's is that um, they actually delivered very quickly. I never shopped with them online before. I went on their website, I logged on, I registered very quickly and they um, allowed me to order this box very quickly and they delivered within a couple of days really so this morning I received it and I placed an order only a couple of days ago so we're going to have a look what um, is in this box I started pre-opening it but I didn't actually open everything yet so we can see that there's quite a lot of stuff in there and um, this bag I imagine contains some kind of um, temperature regulated items so I'm going to put it aside for now just to show you what um, we've got here inside so there is a good selection of um, like I was saying of, of various essentials um, I'm glad they, they've got carrots and um, potatoes and onions because I, I was just about running out of those Okay, well, let's have a look. So, what we've got, I'll start with this. Um, oh, this has got a little bit of damage, but that should be okay. So, cream of tomato. I'm beginning to like these tomato soups. I had a similar one from M&S, which was very nice. So, so this will work. Um, and then let's have a look. What else? Is this? Another mixed beans. Okay, well, that's a good one. Always useful. Uh, mixed beans, and it's a Morrison's own brand, so this could work. Uh, okay, let's put them in there. Okay, so let's get these baby potatoes out. So these are baby potatoes, best steamed or boiled. And yeah, they've, they've got good selection here. Okay, so what else? Uh, I'll get all these canned items out of the way first. Okay, so baked beans. So more baked beans. And we've got a pack of... I think a pack of three. Well, I think it's very good of them that they've included... that they've included baked beans because these go really nicely with breakfast, with any other snacks. So it's very, very good. So this is... Branston brand. I don't know if it's Morrison's own. I don't normally shop in Morrison's, but it looks good in a rich and tasty tomato sauce. So, yeah, this is just um, a typical baked beans uh, selection. So this can go in the bin. Okay, so we've got cucumber. Very nice. It's all sealed in a plastic um, wrapper. Then we have some um, carrots, which is also great. And these will work for a variety of things. So we'll put carrots there. So, okay. Well, we've got bread, which is nice. Um, my other, I've got another review of M&S food box. We didn't have any bread there. Um, this one is just a plain basic. Um, but I guess, you know, when you have, like, beans on toast or something else, you can use um, this bread. So, it goes there. Ah, that's very nice. They've included some fruit. That's very kind of them. Look at that. So, this is um, mangoes, I suspect. Yeah, wonky mango. Um, they don't look ripe yet. But you know, in some cuisines, they, they actually use green mangoes, so you can use them in salads and for cooking. And um, 
after a while they will ripen a little so it will be very useful now what else have we got here oh they've included some toilet paper i guess so there is one giant long lasting jumbo what is this um, kitchen kitchen towel which is great you know i always use them and i often run out of them so i'm gonna put it there <coughs> so we've got some this is a very large box i mean this i reckon it's just some toilet paper it's nice of them they've included this because um we have been running out of um food boxes here we are running out of toilet paper in london for a while now and it's been difficult to get hold of it so they've included two rolls which is great right what else uh, okay onions again useful for cooking for salads for soups this is great so onions go here and then we've got some pasta again this is very very Okay, so um, I've now opened uh, my um, temperature-controlled um, bag, and um, it's a bag with ice in it. So it's got uh, items um, that require colder temperatures, cooler temperatures too, for transportation. But before we go into that, let me finish um, the non-perishable items. So they've included um, passata with onion and garlic which is again very useful for we've got some pasta we've got um carrots and and but passata is very useful for preparing pastas and other italian dishes so this is good and we've got some uncle ben's basmati rice this is um easy cook rice and um, um very useful for a snack for example if you want a quick snack and you don't want to cook anything for a very long time so this will work so this is looking really good so far and now um, I'm going to tell you I've opened these other additional bags and uh, Morrison's actually give you a choice of um, um, vegetarian boxes and other boxes such as meat boxes I've actually ordered a vegetarian box specifically because I wanted to see I like vegetarian food generally and I wanted to see what selection of vegetarian items they could um, actually include in their box and so one of these um, temperature controlled um, bags here contains these interesting so it's corn it's a substitute for meat and they've got um, sausages made from corn here um, which is great I've actually tried corn before it's not bad it's a very tasty alternative to meat so this we've got meatless farm lovingly made from plants two meat free burgers Pine protein, source of fiber, gluten free. They look interesting. I've never tried this before. I don't know what um it's it's going to be containing protein concentrate. Um protein. So it has got some kind of protein in it, um some plant based protein. This will be interesting to try. I'll see what it tastes like. So, I don't know who made this one. This one is made uh, Meatless Farm and Co. I don't know if it's Morrison's own brand or somebody else makes these. So, and it says 100% vegan. So, it's good for vegans. And it's got B, B vitamins in it, which which is quite useful. It's got some nice content. Yeah, this will be interesting to try. So this one, oh, look at that, meat-free mince. It looks very similar to that burger, high-protein, source of fiber, gluten-free. This is looking interesting. So yeah, this will be interesting to try. I never tried these before, actually, because um, I am enjoying vegetarian food, and when I am doing vegetarian food, I am genuinely not looking forward to things that look like meat, right? Um, I sometimes don't even understand, you know, for example, vegetarians um, wanting products that look like burgers, look like minced meat, look like actual meat. So if you're trying to be free uh, uh, to move away from meat, why would you want all these products? I don't know. Well, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I've not tried but it looks interesting so this one there's a lot of stuff here look veg with um, with edge 
high protein. Again, this is a high protein item. I don't know what this is. I've never tried flavor you can swear by. High protein. Vegan, low fat, gluten free. So it's got all the good things in it. Meat free, sausages, um, lightly seasoned, packed full of fiber and soy. Oh, it's soy free as well. Made in small batches because we are big on flavor and quality. Oh, well, this looks interesting. You know, these sausages could be fun. I could fry them with um, for breakfast with beans and maybe I don't know. Oh, well, that looks that looks interesting, definitely. So I'm gonna put it there on the side. So I guess these are meat alternatives that they've included here. And there's still some toilet paper. So what have we got in this cool um, compartment? We've got fresher for longer. I guess this is some kind of meat. Oh, not meat, sorry, a uh, milk. <clears throat> Simply milk, yeah, so it is milk. Milk that lasts longer. Okay, so it says until 6th of May. Well, that's nice, yeah, so... Uh, I don't drink a lot of milk, um, generally speaking, but it could be useful for coffees or maybe for cooking, so this is good. So I'm going to put it here. Um, oh, look what we've got. Pilgrim's Choice, Mature Cheddar Cheese. This is a very generous um, portion of cheese. That's very nice. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put it here. So what else have we got here? Okay, la look at this. Unsalted butter. Um, so they've included butter. Gonna be useful for cooking. We've got cottage cheese and um, in the tomato and basil pasta sauce. Well, this one is in cooler because I guess this is a fresh sauce. And um, I guess maybe I will use this first with pasta or some other... Or maybe even those um, meat alternatives. So I could use this sauce because it's in this cooling compartment. And also cottage cheese. Um, this could be useful. I don't drink... Um, I don't eat a lot of it, but... Um, I can use it for cook in cooking and for breakfast. This could be nice. So, so there really is quite a lot, <clears throat> as you can see. Um, I can't even get it all out. Uh, my um, counter is full. Look at this. There's everything. There's absolutely everything, and this will last a while, I imagine. So Morrison's <clears throat> produced this very impressive box. Um, um, I have to say that the the box from Morrison's is. Um, similar size to M&S, but they definitely packed a lot more food in it, and, and, there's, a, and there's some fresh food as well, <clears throat> fresh food that comes with um, temperature-controlled pocket, <clears throat> so so there's huge amount, um, price-wise it's similar pricing um, to M&S, but there's a lot more, and there's um, vegetables, there's some um, fruit even, and there's um, a pasta, rice, all these protein, alternatives to meat, um, and I guess if you order um, a non-vegetarian box, a traditional like, with meat, you will actually get some um, meat. You will get bacon, you will get maybe steak, I, I don't know what else is in the other box. I will try and order the other box as well and, um, and create a, a review of that box. But so far, this box has been impressive, definitely. So there's definitely a lot. Um, I am impressed. I will be eating all these wonderful foods and I'm going to try all these um, vegan and vegetarian alternatives to meat even though I don't normally eat them but they look attractive and um, they've got some useful vitamins like vitamins B in, in there so hopefully this was useful for you and um, um, they deliver quickly I'm impressed with their delivery and you can order it online um, without problems well at least I didn't have any problems um, but if you do have problems, do comment below and um, and maybe share your experiences. Um, you know, I'm now comparing this box to M&S's. M&S um, food box um, has things like chocolates and sweets and um, treats and, and they've got really nice um, um, canned items. I really like my M&S box. Um, but in terms of um, amount of food they delivered, it's definitely smaller. This one is much larger, and it's got fresh items that require temperature control. So M&S doesn't include those. Um, so, yeah, I can definitely recommend. Thank you for watching. And do have a look at my M&S food box review. That, that might be useful as well.